Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. The course of power system operation. We have discussed in quite a great detail. Uh, we have completed it alhamdulillah. In the, in, the, in the introductory video I mentioned the course outlines one by one over here and we have done each and every one of them. We've seen that in a greater detail. If you have any questions still, you have not understood, you have anything else in the outlines that I have not done, the comment section is for you guys. You can let me know. I'll make a video for you. For me, it is done. Now what do I have is, I want to solve some assignments as well. We've got three or four assignments that were given throughout the semester and, and we'll do that together. And after that, we'll solve the past paper and that will be it. That will be it. Right? Was a very interesting course, wasn't it? It was. So, let us solve assignment number one. Assignment number one. So, we've got two questions over here. So, question number one states what? Please. A load center with a maximum demand of 200 megawatt can be supplied. So, maximum demand is 200 megawatts and it can be supplied either by a pump storage hydroelectric power plant or a coal fired thermal power plant. And the following economic data is given. So, you can either supply it with a hydro or you can supply it with a thermal. Where the capital cost per kilowatt is given for hydro is 10,000. For thermal, it is 6,500 rupees, right? And then the operating cost per kilowatt hour is given, which is rupees 5 for hydro and 8.5 for thermal. And the interest and depreciation factor for both is 10%. Now what they are asking, calculate the minimum load factor above which. So the minimum load factor above which the hydro will be economical. So this is something that is unknown. Now, hydro will be economical uh, in, the, in the later sense. Why? Because then the operating cost would be less. Okay. So, the operating cost would be less. So, for that, you know, we need to have the, the, the energy units consumed. So, let's say the energy units consumed are E. The energy units consumed are E. Fine. Yes. So for hydro. First of all, let's say for hydro, we do the calculations. So what do you have it? For the hydro, the fixed cost is based on what? It is based on the kilowatt maximum demand, which is 200. And I will write it in 200,000 for megawatts to kilowatts. And it is uh, 10,000. 10,000. Right? Yes. And you also have an interest and depreciation factor involved. So this would come out to be how much? This would come out to be 200 into 10 to the power 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, so 7 would go with this one. So you have a 200 into 10 to the power 6 rupees. Fine? Yes. Then what do you have? Then what do you have? The variable cost or the running cost or the operating cost. So the operating cost or the running cost is rupees 5 per kilowatt hour, which is E. 5 times E, right? Yes. Now if you go for the total cost per unit, total cost per unit, total cost per unit would be what? It would be 200 into 10 to the power 6 divided by E plus rupees 5. So this is what this is let's say equation number one. This is for the hydro unit. Right? Then what do you have for the thermal unit? For the thermal unit what do I have is for the thermal unit the fixed cost would be what? It is 6500 multiplied the maximum demand which is 200 into 10 to the power 3. So and an interest in depreciation factor of 0.1 is included as well. We'll calculate this. The operating cost is what? This is rupees 8.5 per unit. So 8.5 multiplied by E. E is unknown. E is unknown. So the total cost, the total cost per unit, the total cost per unit for this would be what? So let's say we add them. Uh, let me let me just do it once. Please uh, let us do it together. Calculator 6500 multiplied by 200 multiplied by 0 0.1 multiplied by 10 to the power 3. This gives you what? 1 
3 and how many zeros do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 zeros. 7 zeros. So 130 into 10 to the power 6. So this would come out to be 130 into 10 to the power 6 divided by E. This is the fixed cost per unit. And then the variable cost per unit is 8.5, which is given. Let's say this is equation number 2. And if I equate 1 and 2, so the costs would be the same. 1 is equal to 2, costs would be the same. This implies what? 200 multiply 10 to the power 6 divided by E plus 5 is equal to 130, 10 to the power 6 divided by E plus 8.5. Take it to this side please, 200 minus 130 would be 70, 70 into 10 to the power 6 divided by E is equal to what, uh, 8.5 minus 5 would be 3.5 and E would come out to be what, E would come out to be 70 divided by 3.5, 70 divided by 3.5 and these are 20, 20 into 10 to the power 6 kilowatt hour. So if this much of energy units are consumed, if this much of energy units are consumed, so the total, the costs of the both would be the same. Both will cost the same for this much amount of, right? Yes. Now what would be the load factor? So E is equal to FLD into maximum demand into time. This is on one basis, this will be on the yearly basis of course. So I can calculate the load factor from here, FLD would be E which is 20 into 10 to the power 6 kilowatt hours divided by the maximum demand which is 200 into 10 to the power 3 multiply time which is 8760, let us do it. 20 into 10 to the power 6 divided by 200 into 10 to the power 3 multiplied with 8760. 0 0.011, I believe this is wrong, 0.011. This is 1.1%, 1 .1%. this is wrong, this is wrong, the calculations may have been wrong somewhere, or you know, uh, the calculations may have been wrong, or these are some fictitious values, maybe that is why this is the mistake. But the thing is, this is the procedure. At this load factor, both will cost the same. Above this load factor, as the load factor would increase, so if the load, have a look, the maximum demand is the same. If the load factor would increase, the energy units would increase. If the energy units increases, so which means you require more energy units, and for the, then the, the operating cost should increase. So operating cost would be less for the hydro, right? So that is why the hydro would be economical if the load factor increases by from this value. I'm telling you again 1.1% not a correct answer for the load factor but these are fictitious values I'm telling you again maybe I've got some calculating mistakes I have not done any practice for this I just took it and maybe that's the reason anyways please give it a try question number two we've got two questions in this assignment the next is an industrial state has a load of 200 kilowatts a connected load is given which is 200 kilowatts and it is operating at a power factor of 0.9 lagging watts for 50 hours in a week. It is intended to purchase electricity from the following two units. So you've got two, you know, HT supply. This is the first from grid according to tariff is what? It's rupees 2000 per kVA of maximum demand plus rupees 15 per kilowatt hours. Cost of transformer and switch gear is 4000 per kVA. Transformer cost is rupees 4000 per kVA. And interest depreciated at 10% annually. Depreciation at 10% annually. The second option is LT supply. LT supply according to the tariff is given 2500 per kVA plus rupees 20 per kilowatt hour. Work out the economical option for the industrial state. So work out please the economical option. Which one would be economical? Also find the number of hours for which the cost of the above two will be the same. Hours for which 
कॉस्ट विल बी सेम सो लेट एस गेट गोइंग लेट एस गेट गोइंग अगेन फर्स्ट थिंग इज यू नीड टू नो द के वी एज सो हाउ मच आर द के वी एज सो लेट एस फाइंड आउट फ्रॉम हेयर सो के वी एज बेसिकली यू नो किलो वाट डिवाइड बाई द पावर फैक्टर इज पॉइंट नाइन फाइन सो एंड देन द टाइम दिस इज फिफ्टी आवर्स वीकली फिफ्टी आवर्स इन अ वीक so you've got how many hours in a year 50 so you've got 52 hours in a year so this time would be on the yearly basis now so 200 divided by 0.9 this is 222 222 are the kvs fine and then 50 multiplied by 52 are the hours which is 2600 these are the hours that are in the year that is this operating so let's say we consider the first option let's say we consider the first option so the fixed cost would be what it's on the basis of 222 kvas 2222 kvas and kva cost is rupees 2000 right so what does this come out to be uh, 2000 multiplied by 222 this is 444000 444 Triple zero rupees, right? Yes. Now the transformer cost is also to be included, so which is four thousand per kVA, and kVAs are triple two. So triple two multiplied by four thousand, and this is triple eight, triple zero. And now the running cost, the running cost or the operating cost would be on the basis of kilowatt hours. So fifteen multiply kilowatt hours are how much? So E is equal to power into time. So power is two hundred and time is two six double zero. We are not given any load factor. So two hundred multiply two six double zero. This gives you five hundred and twenty thousand. Five hundred and twenty thousand are the number of units. Five two zero one two three, and you multiply it with fifteen to give you seven eight double zero triple zero seven eight double zero triple zero. So this would be the cost. So total cost would be what for one that is your HT supply. This would be add these add these all up plus plus triple eight triple zero plus triple four. Triple zero nine one three two triple zero nine one three two triple zero rupees is the cost for the first one. For the second, if you supply from the LT supply, so that would be rupees twenty five hundred per kVA. So twenty five hundred multiply triple two would be triple five triple zero triple five. Triple zero would be the fixed cost. You don't have any transformer cost. The running cost or the operating cost is on the basis of energy units. Five two zero triple zero multiplied by twenty, right? Yes. Five two zero triple zero multiplied by twenty gives you one zero four double zero triple zero. One zero four double zero triple zero, which means the total cost in case number two would be what? So add these two up. Triple five, triple zero. One zero nine, one zero nine double five, triple zero. This is for the second case. One zero nine triple five triple zero. Which one is greater? That one is greater, of course. Uh, so how much? I, which one is economical? So this one is economical. H T supply is economical. How much are you saving? So if you su subtract this nine one three two triple zero, so you get one eight two three saving. One eight two three triple zero. This much amount you are saving if you are going for this option instead of this. This one is economical. This one is expensive. Don't go for that. Fine. Yes. Now, how the number of hours for which the costs are the same? So we will do what we will do that. Uh, this is let's say part number B of the question. So we would say that energy units are power into time. So power is 200 kilowatt, and let's say that time is y. Y is that time duration for which the two costs the same. So what would you have? The fixed cost would remain the same. The transformer cost would remain the same. 
but the running cost would now change so the total cost would be what this would be this fixed cost which is triple four triple zero and then what do you have plus triple eight triple zero and then plus you would have uh, the running cost would now be what it would not be this thing now it would be 200 times y 200 times y this is the energy units multiplied with 50 fine yes so what what this come out to be 200 multiply 15 first do that 200 multiply 15 is 3000 so this would be 3000 y so what do you have triple four triple zero plus triple eight triple zero this is one double three two triple zero plus three thousand y this is for the first case now if you go for the second case so again the same thing you have the fixed cost remain the same the total cost would be what the fixed cost would remain the same is triple five triple zero plus you would have this uh, not 3000 you would have the energy units are 200 into y and the operating cost in this case is 20 so 200 multiply 20 would come out to be what 4000 so make this 4000 y this would be 4000 y equate these two find the value of y 1 equal to 2 let's say this is 1 let's say this is 2 so I would just do the subtraction directly. One, one, double three, two, triple zero, minus triple five, triple zero is what? It's triple seven, triple zero, and this is equal to 1000 Y. So this implies what? That Y comes out to be, Y comes out to be triple seven, triple seven. Now what are these? These are the number of hours maybe. Or the number of days or what? If I have any mistake, please do the corrections. If I have any mistake, please do the corrections. I don't believe I would have any mistake, but this is the time duration. I believe this would be in hours. Or you can just confirm it. From my condition, you can see <laughs> I am not able to you know have a focus very much so that should be this is the method you know the calculations could be wrong the given values are fictitious values they can also have problem right yes so anyways this was the procedure this was assignment number one we've solved it in the next video we'll see assignment number two together then three or how many the number doesn't matter whatever we'll see them together I will see you in the next video very soon till then take care do subscribe to the channel this would be a favor for me you know you can see my condition the only favor you can do is what subscribe to the channel till the next video goodbye